Israeli military has moved forces to the Gaza border as it prepares for a potential ground incursion. Both Hamas and Israeli forces are seeing their casualty count rise. Correspondent Trey Yinks joins us live from the Gaza-Israel border as the violence threatens to escalate into a full-blown war. Good evening, Trey. Shannon, good evening. Fighting is continuing tonight between Israel and Gaza as the death toll is rising. Tonight, the Israeli Air Force is bombing targets throughout the Gaza Strip. And earlier in the evening, the artillery units behind me were firing shells at Hamas and Islamic Jihad positions. The damage done to Gaza in the past 24 hours will set the Palestinian people back years. This level of conflict hasn't been seen in the region since Operation Protective Edge in 2014. More than 125 Palestinians have been killed so far and hundreds more injured. 31 of the dead are children. On the Israeli side, the death toll reached nine people today. The Israeli military said that more than 2,000 rockets have been fired from Gaza into Israel since Monday. The cross-border violence is no longer focused only here and now across the region. Today, 11 people were killed in the West Bank during clashes with Israeli defense forces. Protests also erupted along the Lebanese and Jordanian borders with Israel, leading to the death of at least one person. There's a real sense on the ground that things are unraveling extremely quickly. As Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said today, he's not done with the response from Israel towards Hamas as the group continues this evening to fire rockets. Shannon. Trey Yangst in the Middle East for us tonight. Thank you, Trey.